Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another get ready for me for you guys and this time it's this look right here um, that I'm doing very often lately. It is kind of my most neutral look, um, really simple, really quick and easy for me to get to. So when I get up in the morning and I don't feel like using my hair too much when applying my makeup, this is what I go for. Um, which tends to be quite a bit of the day, especially when I'm like getting ready for work. So let's jump right into it and take a look at how I get here. Okay, so let's get started. The first part is gonna be familiar if you've been uh, seeing more of my get ready with me's basically. So the first step for me is to use my shadow insurance from Too Faced um, as my eyeshadow base. So I'm just gonna put that all over the lids. And then it's time for my Calvin Klein uh, cream eyeshadow that I've been working on all year long at this point. Um, but I'm still not finished, so we just keep going, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna put this over kind of just my lid, so not all over, um, not under my, my brow bone basically, because it's a little bit darker, but at the same time, um, you'll see that it fades out really to a fairly sheer purple base. Okay, so basically I like to make these get ready with me's a little bit more chatty so you guys can I guess get to know me a little bit better as well but I'm still kind of trying to figure out like what do you talk about. I know like I can talk about anything really but at the same time, I want it to be somewhat interesting for you guys to listen to, so um, yeah, still kind of figuring this out. So if there are any topics that you guys would like to know more about, do let me know because I could definitely talk about those during these Get Ready With Me's. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with my eyeshadow in the meantime and I'm going to use the exclusive shade, um, the sheer one from my Too Faced palette as a kind of a base, but mostly on my brow bone going down a little bit but I'm not putting this all over my lid. Um, maybe something I could talk about just a little bit is um, my holidays because as I think a fair bit of you know because I've been uh, calling it out in a couple of my videos recently I've been on holidays to Greece um, that, had, that was like a week and a half ago even though I feel like at this point it's been forever ago already. Like the moment you get kind of back into the daily grind, the, the daily just day to day, um, I feel like everything turns to normal so quickly again, even though everything seems like it's so far away when you're on holidays, at least for me, that's what it's like. Or <laughs> what I strive for at least. Um, oh, I'm putting teddy bear in my uh, crease right now. So this holiday we spent 10 days in Greece and before that we spent um, the weekend in the Netherlands just being home, visiting um, family and friends and oh, I guess it's also kind of <laughs> fun to talk about, at least I think it's fun. Um, we did a Spartan race in the Netherlands. So we did a short version of it this time, um, it's the second one that we did. And the Spartan race, if you Google it, I'm sure you'll find kind of what it is, but it's basically kind of a run with uh, quite a bit of obstacles in between. It's it's intense, it's not easy, but I, I kind of like it. Like I'm trying to get a little bit stronger basically, and uh, these Spartan races are a good um, I guess measurement or something to work towards. And um, yeah, I really, really like them. We're gonna do the longest version of it or like it's it's a 20k run kind of with about 30 obstacles over the course which is uh, i'm kind of scared but i'm kind of excited for it as well so yeah that's that's pretty nice and exciting um so that's what we did in the netherlands as well and then like we just visited like friends and family and those type of things which 
always nice. Um, I'm going in with Honey Pot right now, the gold color in my Panda palette. palette. So after that, like I said, um, we spent the weekend in the Netherlands and then we went to Greece. And that was really, really nice. I really, really liked the island where we went. We went to Crete, um, which just, it was a re it's a really nice island. It's the second time that I've been there, but the first time I was there was, was, I was like 12 years old. So it's not really the same, I guess. Like when you're a kid, you look at things quite differently than when you're a grown up. <laughs> so uh, it was really nice. I really, really liked that like in Greece, you have the warmth. But at the same time, you still have the green as well. Because I've noticed like when I go to places like Spain or Portugal, because it is fairly dry normally as well, um, I guess there is not as much green there. Or maybe I've just been going to the wrong places, of course. But I really, really like the island. Um, and we did a really good combination of... Um, just going on with the next color, by the way. I'm going to use the purple exclusive shade over here. Um, so yeah, we had a really nice combination of um, relaxing. We had a really nice apartment with an amazing view, like over the sea and some mountains in the distance, which was really, really nice. Um, so we spent some time there just relaxing a couple of the days and then we did some like visiting of nearby cities. But the nicest thing that I think that we did, apart from the relaxing, was um, we visited some gorgeous over there which they have quite a bit of them um over there in greece like i'm using this shade now to kind of darken up the outer v which i always like to just give the look a little bit extra and it's a good way to use up the darker shades as well of course <laughs> um yeah so yeah, that those were, were so beautiful it was so nice to walk through like one of the walks we did was like two hours down two hours back up another one was i think we walked for like five hours to get all the way down to the beach and then we ended up in a town where like cars cannot get there basically unless you come with a boat so it was really really nice <laughs> very touristy as well um we had to take like the ferry back and then a bus all the way back up to get our car back which was it was really nice it's so beautiful i'm gonna try and input a couple of pictures here just so you guys can see because it was so beautiful and yes that was my time in greece and now we're back in ireland um the weather here has been great while we were away of course you'll always see um and at this point the weather is okay it's still sunny every now and then but at the same time it's a little colder i can't wear like dresses and bare legs and those type of things um so that's a bit of a shame but hopefully we'll get some nice better back again i'm gonna use the black shadow the stiletto from my panda palette in my like as my eyeliner right now okay eyeliner is on um and i'm gonna use the brush that i used to put on the shade in my crease to slightly blend out the color that I put in my outer feet just to make sure it kind of blends into the gold nicely. And that's that. I know I've got some fallout down here, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Um so next I'm gonna use my highlighter, <laughs> the highlighting powder from Catrice, and use that on this um Real Techniques brush just to highlight a little bit more on my brow bone and at the same time blend the crease shade nicely and that is it for the eyes for now next is my face and i always kind of use my blush brush for some reason to take out some of the fallout down here um and then i'm going in with concealer i'm used still using my collection concealer um which i cannot read <laughs> anymore in the color fair for kind of all the breakouts and things that I've got going on my chin mostly for some reason I've always got stuff going on there and the rest of my face is quite okay most of the time so if only that part would fix itself that would be so nice <laughs> but I don't see that happening anytime soon really so 
So yeah, today is like the second weekend that we're back here, the first weekend back. I just needed to sleep. <laughs> um, we flew back like it was 10 o'clock in the evening um, in Greece when we flew back and there was a two hour time difference here with uh, Ireland. So in the end we like we were in bed by 2 a.m. on a Wednesday. Um, but of course, because of the two, two hour time difference, I guess it kind of felt like 4 a.m. And then I went back into work straight away the next day because I don't want to like lose any holidays um, just because I want to rest. I was like, okay, it's only two more days and then it's weekend again, so I should be fine. Um, so the weekend was mostly relaxing. So this weekend, um, I'm hoping to be a little bit more productive again. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, concealer now for under my eyes because this is just a better match than the collection concealer at the moment and I also kind of use that <laughs> on my cheeks just to kind of create a more clear canvas but I don't want to create like a whole foundation look basically at the moment just because I, I don't really need it and it's nicer when the sun's out as well. So today I started the day by going to the spa in the city center and I had a really nice facial which is always a really nice way to start the day and uh, I just I just want to make sure I take proper care of my skin because clearly it needs it um, and after that I ended up deciding to go to the movies by myself which I actually don't think I've done that before like but I don't I don't mind doing it, it's just that I never really Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I never I've never really done it before. So it was really nice. I wanted to see this movie and my husband definitely did not want to see this movie. So I decided well then I'll just go on my own and make this a nice little me day. So I went to see Mamma Mia, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> I love these type of movies when there is singing and stuff going on and especially when it's songs that like are very well known as like these ABBA songs of course like I know I know all of them <laughs> so that was really really nice um I like the story but it's just like all these people singing songs throughout the movie it's just I love it I love it so that was great um okay let's see next step is my eyebrows. At the moment I'm actually using Teddy Bear as my eyebrow color as well and this time again I need to get up close so I'm gonna skip through this and see you guys back when my eyebrows are done. Okay my eyebrows are there so now it's time for my powder. I'm gonna powder my face with my NYX HD uh, finishing powder. Just a little bit all over the face, nothing major. Just make sure that at least that concealer stays where I put it for most of the day. That's that. And now it's time for bronzer. And I actually am using my Makeup Forever uh, eyeshadow in M536 that I was using as my eyebrow color before because it's a little bit more warm tone and since I've been to the sun I feel like the NYX taupe um, blush is a little bit too cool tone because like my shoulders are a little bit more golden than usual now so I'm trying to match my face a little bit better like, my face doesn't really do the get a tan thing so this is my way to make sure that it looks somewhat um, more similar I guess and then next of course we go in with my um, pen and palette blush I'm still working on that one um, I feel like I'm gonna be working on that one for 
quite a bit of time still but we'll see i'm really hoping to hit pan on that soon <laughs> so at least i feel like i can i can see something moving because the moment i feel like you hit pan at least you can see the pan starting to expand slowly but surely the dip you don't really see it getting deeper until like the dip is actually there and then when you hit pan is kind of the next step i guess <laughs> okay next going in with my highlighting powder from catrice again in fairy dust I'm putting that on my cheekbones and as always also putting a little bit on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and then just a tad bit of blending here to make sure it looks nicely okay now it's time to curl my lashes with my nyx lash curler curler And then we're almost there. I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist as my finishing spray. I shouldn't talk when I'm doing that. And then while this is dry, I'm gonna put up uh, my lip color. And at the moment, I'm trying to combine the two of these. So this is my NYX lipstick in Kuristi which is a little bit of a like metallic color and I, it's just a little bit too much for me I'm getting more used to it but then at the same time I like it's very cool toned and that in combination with the gold not really like my type of combination so I'm using the Yves Rocher watercolor effect lip gloss on top of it to make it a little bit warmer do not talk while you're doing this, Linda. So yeah, like I said, to make it a little bit more warm toned and to tone down the metallicness of that lipstick a little bit as well. So I feel like it gives a little bit of a better color, at least for my taste. And then lastly, mascara. And I'm of course still using my Clinique uh, High Impact Mascara, which basically is the only mascara that you'll see me use. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put on my inner corner highlight, so I shouldn't forget about that. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm using George and Wheezy from my Too Faced palettes. that's it so this is the finished look um, so like I said this is basically like the look that I do um, as my most neutral look when I'm really in a rush I might skip the darkening in the outer V so I might not do that keep it a little bit lighter but apart from that like this is like one of the easier looks for me like no bright colors that you have to be kind of toning down or making it work in the right way just like the golden lid, a matte like shadow in the crease and possibly some darkening up in the outer corner, putting on my eyeliner and then that's, that's it. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I feel like it really like suits my complexion, especially that gold with my blue eyes. I think it's a really nice combination. Um, and I hope you guys liked following along again this time. I hope you guys liked my little stories that I tried to kind of weave into um, this, even though I still need to get a little bit more smooth around that, but we'll see. I would love to hear your feedback and hopefully I'll see you in one of my next videos as well. Bye bye.